Once in a while, officers deal with a rare breed of criminal, the kind that aren't afraid to draw weapons in a police station. Yeah. Drop it! Drop it! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! This is 35-year-old Nakia Brown. On the 23rd of March, 2021, he went to the Olympic Community Police Station looking to start a fight with the Los Angeles Police Department. Brown suffered from severe mental health issues, and he intended that day to be his last. So he threw himself into an intense life-or-death encounter with the police. Were you... Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Hey, put, a, put out help call. Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Put it down now! Put it down! Brown was unresponsive. He continued to stand in front of the station holding the gun. No shots were fired. No demands were made. He just stood there. After radioing for help, two officers flanked Brown from the outside. Drop the gun, bro! It doesn't have to go this way! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Let, we'll help you out, bro! Just drop it! Chow, chow, chow! Cover, cover! Hey, brother, we'll help you out! Just drop the gun! Drop the gun, bro! Drop the gun! Hey, bro, this has to go this way! We'll get you help! Just drop it! Just drop the gun, bro! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun, dude! Hey, I'm gonna bring you back a little bit. I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna bring you back. Get a little bit cover. No, get a little bit cover. You got range. You got time. You got time. You got time. Drop it, dude! Just drop it! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! We're here to help you, dude! Hey, we're, we're here to help you! We'll help you all, dude! Just drop it! Just drop it! Let me help you then! But I need I need you to I can't help you with that in your hand! No! Brown was taken down with one shot and immediately arrested. As you can already tell, this was no ordinary incident, and it was about to get even more odd. I got it. Roll over, roll over, roll over, roll over. Watch your hand, watch your hand, watch your hand, watch your hand. Watch your hand. After the arrest, officers found that Brown wasn't carrying a real gun. It was an airsoft pistol. Officers also found handwritten notes on him. The notes included the phrases, the voices of other people in my head will not stop. 
And I'm committing it because no one will or can help me. Nakia Brown was taken to the hospital for treatment. He survived. Brown was still charged with brandishing a weapon, however, and could face up to three years in prison if he's found guilty. Our next case is a lot like the last. This is 51-year-old Suzanne LaPrize, a mother down on her luck and going through a lot in life. On the 5th of October, 2023, she went to a bar in Bristol, Connecticut, looking to drown her troubles with a few drinks. She met a patron at the bar and confided in them the struggles she'd been going through. Suzanne had a son with Down syndrome and a daughter in serious legal trouble. She had one word for how she felt, trapped. About 10.30 p.m., Suzanne was a few drinks deep. She left the bar at 369 North Main Street and walked into a police station at 131 North Main Street, brandishing her boyfriend's gun looking to commit by cop. It was around 10.30 p.m. when security footage caught Suzanne walking into the station holding a gun to her head. The lobby was empty and the front desk was unoccupied, but that didn't stop her from unloading a few shots into the bulletproof glass. After a few minutes of pacing around and letting off some more shots, she eventually dropped the firearm. That's when the officers waiting in the wings swooped in. Incredibly, nobody was hurt, and Suzanne was arrested. She received nine charges. Criminal attempt slash murder with special circumstances, illegal discharge of a firearm, illegal carry of firearms under the influence, criminal use of a weapon, violation of pistol permit requirements, illegal possession of a large capacity magazine, criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, and breach of peace. She's likely to spend the rest of her life behind bars. 39-year-old mother was coming into the Justice Center Wednesday morning to press charges and get a protection order. Her 21-year-old son was with her for support, but sheriff's deputies started to notice the mother acting nervous when going through the metal detector. This is 47-year-old Andrea Williams. This is 21-year-old Linnell Williams. And this is the bag of guns they brought with them into a justice center in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. Inside the bag was approximately 99 rounds of ammunition. On the 9th of August, 2023, the mother and son duo walked into the Justice Center carrying a big black bag. CCTV cameras caught the moment as Linnell, bizarrely enough, ran the bag through a metal detector. Of course, the machine did its job. He was immediately arrested and the bag was seized. He came over low, so I apologize. He's got firearms, he's got like a Uzi in his backpack. It's a Mexican. Why did you bring it in the courthouse? We got chased. Hold on, we, hold on. We, we, 
Before you do that, did you read them anything yet? I haven't read them anything. All right, yet. I'm going to read you these real quick because I don't want to be asking you nothing. Okay. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Right. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you. You understand these rights if I read them to you. With these rights in mind, you wish to speak to me. I got to read you those because uh, those are your rights, all right? You got to put them in that, that lockdown cell for now. That's all his stuff that I have. Okay. Yeah, this is a Mac 10 in there. Linnell was put in a temporary holding cell. His mother, on the other hand, had already made a break for it and was outside the Justice Center. She would be apprehended by police officers shortly after. But for now, their bag was on its way to a thorough search. He admitted all the guns are his. Watch, this one's on fire, so you know. That one's loaded. <laughs> that one's loaded. Not safe. This is wild. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen here. What are you here for? Hey, sorry. All in all, officers pulled out two firearms, both loaded, and approximately 99 rounds of ammunition from the bag. As you can imagine, they had a few questions for Linnell. What are you here for? We're spending orders. You're trying to file? I'm with my mama. Are you, are you trying to file restraining orders or what? Or you got one placed against you? Ain't nothing that gets me. Like, we're here on for a, a whole bunch of stuff. Anything happening in the rush here. You can be broke, relax. Everything is legal in my name. And my own. Okay. Um, but like, you can't bring this in here. I know everything happens. So it's like we, 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 we get in chase. I got dropped off by, by Officer Officer Gates, badge number 141. We just came from the hospital. They know everything already. But you hear this at a hospital too? Yes, that, everything happens. You have both of these weapons inside of a hospital? Yes, they took me to the back room and everything crashed on me. But everything just happened in, in, in a couple seconds. Uh, Cleveland brought you down here with No, like the hospital. The it's hospital like, did? It's like 10, what hospital? It's like five minutes away, six minutes away. Upon further interrogation, both mother and son claimed that the guns were for protection. They alleged the mother was being stalked, and that's why they were at the courthouse in the first place, to get a protection order against said stalker. Either way, both Andrea and Linnell Williams have been charged with two felony counts of illegal conveyance and carrying a concealed weapon. They're looking at up to six years in prison if found guilty. A Youngstown police officer was attacked last week inside Youngstown Police Headquarters downtown, and today police released surveillance video of the incident. The incident occurred in Ohio on September 14, 2023. A man in his mid-twenties named Keyshawn Sims walked into the Youngstown Police Department looking to talk to the police chief. The chief only talks to people if they make a, uh, an appointment. They only make, you have to make an appointment with the chief to see him. You know what? Let me call somebody from my age.
Uh, she's not in her office. Yeah, but everybody you need to talk to, that you want to talk to, are, uh, you have to make an appointment to see them. Well, that's the way it's going to be. You can say no all you want. Okay. I have someone who actually needs help. Can you have them? Sir, don't be difficult. Just, just, there's no one that will talk to you. No. Because you're talking about some kind of manifestation. It's tell, it's that, you know what that tells me? That you're mental. You're mental. After insulting Keyshawn, the officer decided to leave his post, go around the bulletproof glass, and pick a fight with him. Say it. You have to leave now, sir. Or what? You have to leave now, sir. Call someone right the f I'm not calling anyone. Yeah, you you have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. Make you leave? Yeah. Make me leave. Make sure this is on. You have to leave, sir. Make me leave. Say that again. You called me. Say that again. You're mental. Think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody mental. Call somebody so I can talk to someone. Get off me. Say that again. Say that again. We can do this all day. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah, do I hear this out here? The altercation came to an end after Keyshawn was tackled by multiple officers and arrested. He remained defiant the entire time. Let's go. I'm see you again. Hope so. Thank you. So I guess much. Um yeah, okay. Let's watch. I'm gonna get all your What's your first name? That's what it is. Yeah, grab my nuts. I'm calling the cops on that. It's not how you do this. Shit. Okay. You want to suck my? Are you at it? Huh? You want to look down there or something? Are you on? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, stay on. You do first punch. That's why I got you. He Thanks. came in wanting to speak to some of the old nah, range. And then he now. starts talking about some kind of manifestation happening. Exactly. So I told him, exactly. I, nobody's going to talk to you because you're acting like a mental. No, he got mad you. because I called him mental. Exactly. All right. Um. Keyshawn was arraigned on two counts of assault on a police officer, aggravated robbery, obstructing official business, and two counts of menacing. He's looking at up to 12 years in prison and fines of up to $25,250 if he's found guilty. Our next case takes us to the Bath Police Department in Ohio, where a wanted fugitive walked himself straight into the welcoming arms of the police. It all went down on the 1st of September, 2021. A man named Mark Ostrander went into a police station to pick up a tow release form for his impounded vehicle. There was just one little problem. He had a felony warrant out for his arrest. What's up, Mark? All right, here's the deal. You know, you got a felony for warrant, right? Out of Lorraine County. Yeah. And they want you. Yeah. They want you, okay? So here's the deal. Um, we're going to give you a chance either to sign what's called a rule four, and I'll explain that to you. It means that would take you directly to, to, to Lorraine County. 
If you don't sign that form, we got to take you to Summit County. It's going to be up to a week that you'll spend in Summit County before you see a judge. I signed it yesterday. Oh, did you sign it yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, are you going to sign it again? Because they want you. I mean... If, if that's what I need to do. Yeah, that, that's what... I mean, that's that's your best bet. Otherwise, you're going to spend probably a week... Well, it well, depends on how long you see it until you see a judge. So, in that, that's just in Summit County. For Summit County, say, okay, now we got to send you back up to Lorraine. So, you're going to be... It's kind of like two-stop, yeah. That's what a Rule 4 does. It expedites you going straight to the county. Since you're two counties away, yeah. since Lorraine is two counties away... Yeah. Um, they would have to hold you at Summit County Jail until they got clearance otherwise in front of a judge. Okay. Um, so am I going to be able to get the van out? Um, if they, yeah, if, if, as long as you sign it out, I think we could probably still get it. Um, let me, let's, this is the rule four. Like I said, this is what I explained to you here. Um, just need, uh, it's going to be Lorraine County. Just um, print your name there. I'm trying to find out where, and then you're you're gonna sign it as a defendant. Okay. You know your license is expired. Yeah, I got it. I, my birthday just passed. Mark willingly signed the form and was immediately arrested. First of all, stand up real quick. Pull that hand out of the pocket. I don't like when you're that jittery and you got you don't have anything on you, right? You wouldn't be that that silly to bring something in here. Yeah. You brought something yeah. in here. Yeah. What'd you bring? Uh, some, some, uh drugs. Right. You got your cuffs. Bro, man. Dude, what the hell is that? I didn't think I was going to jail. So you're going to bring drugs in here at the police station? I think I didn't want to leave them. Car? Yeah. As a matter of fact, yes. Mark the Wanted Fugitive was silly enough to walk into a police station with a pocket full of meth. That was not a good idea. Where are they and what what is it? It's in this pocket, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah, yeah. Hang on one second. I got gloves. Guys. What is it, first of all? Some uh, uh, meth. Meth? Is it fentanyl in it, in it at all? Yeah, probably. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't. I know that's why I didn't leave it in your car. Is it is it open or is it in a bag or no, what is it? In a bag. Are there any needles in there? No. It's not dead. No. Think about hard. No, it's, it's I don't know. No, that's uh uh when you try to take something that you're right. Yes. Just like that, he had a new charge. Judging by the amount that was on him, he's potentially looking at up to 12 months of incarceration and a fine of up to $2,500. Click the video on screen and watch as I delve further into more cases.